So today's the day most people have been waiting for because the Young Professional Scheme just went live for the second time for Indians only. And the best part about this visa, in case you're new, is that you don't need a work permit, you don't need a job which offers sponsorship, you don't need to be a student who's got an admission in the UK, you can just move to the UK with the required amount of money and if you meet all the eligibility and live in the UK for two years and that's absolutely brilliant. Today's the day the ballot goes live which basically means that the lucky draw or the lottery system for visas goes live today. Now we do know of some issues already like some people aren't getting OTPs and other people are getting a mes message which says that you aren't eligible. These are all bugs so don't worry it should sort itself out in a little while. Now in case you aren't able to apply now and you are facing these bugs don't be stressed at all because you can apply for the ballot anytime until the 27th of July which is two days from now up to 1.30 p.m. So don't be stressed if you aren't able to apply right now. You have plenty of time to apply. Now, if you aren't aware, unlike the previous time, there aren't 3,000 slots up for grabs this time. This time round in the ballot, there's only the balance of the 3,000 slots which weren't consumed the last time. So you're basically then going to be competing with a lot of people. So I do hope you have everything in place to apply for this and you don't mess out or miss out on this opportunity. If you haven't seen my previous video, I'm now going to give you a quick tour on how you can apply for this visa online all by yourself. You don't need any external help. It's a very, very simple process. Let's get into it. And before we dive in, my name is Ashika and if you're new to this channel, we talk about moving to the UK and a lot of other countries. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Now with that, let's dive in. First, visit the gov.uk page and click on enter the ballot. You'll find the link in the description of this video. Once you're out of the queue, click create an account or sign in with your old account. Click myself if you're creating it for yourself. Enter the country you belong to. Enter your passport number the country it was issued in and click yes, your passport has a date of expiry. Next, enter your date of birth again. For the identity doc, use passport. Enter your passport number. Select how you want to receive security codes. I'd say pick email because phones right now have an issue. Enter the security code you receive. After this, click continue with application. After that, it will take you to this page. Scroll down and click contact preferences. Select your email ID. Click continue. Next, click on declaration. Click I am 18 or over. Click continue. Click evidence upload. Click continue again. Click upload evidence. Click choose file. Upload your passport picture and click continue. Click continue again. Click confirm and upload. Click continue. Next, click submit. After this, read this document and take a screenshot. Then click confirm and submit. And that's it. That's quite literally everything you need to know on how to apply for the Young Professionals Scheme. I hope you've had no challenges and you have been able to apply. And if you are successful, you should know in about two weeks time, after which you will be able to apply for the visa online and pay the fees. Now I've made an entire video on all the requirements for that what you need to have in place in order to apply once you're selected through the ballot. So do watch that video and I wish you the best of luck.